Hi guys, welcome back to Informed Beauty, and today I'll be reviewing Ipsy's February 2017 bag. So the theme this month is Ipsy Much Love. So of course with Valentine's Day, I got my Ipsy bag a little bit later in a month, which I typically do because I live in Canada. Um, but it's a very cute little card. It always comes with a card that describes the theme. And on the back, it has a little cute um, text messaging. And it kind of goes through um, and just reminding people to review their products that they receive each month from Ipsy so that you can get the best matches for you and products that you are more likely to enjoy. So I think that that's really cute. It just kind of says, yay, my, my February glam bag is here. Is yours? Yes, my first one ever. What should I do first? Stop texting me and go play with all the fun stuff you got. There's cute videos and beauty info on ipsy.com slash glam bag. And then it says, make sure to review your bag on their site by February 28th. So that's the deadline. That's how they get it really personalized. So that's cute. Let's dig right into the bag. I'm not really a huge fan of the style this month, but again, personal preferences. There's always going to be months that some of us are not going to like the bag as much, but it's good. It's a good, um, just storage little, like a storage vessel. So my first product that I'm super excited about, and like I mentioned before, I always go through my bag before I do the video so that I have a general idea as to what the products are. I think that my exposure is way too high because I don't think you can see anything on there, uh, but this is a nail polish from Trust Fund Beauty, and it is in the most interesting color. I don't think I've ever seen a color like this. Um, it is um, in a brown shade, and it's called Latte. So it's a $12 lipstick, and for Canadians, the FC bags cost 20 bucks per month. So this is one out of five items, and this alone only costs $12 if you were to buy it on your own separately. So that's a pretty good deal, especially considering that this is a full-size product. I'm really excited to try this nail polish today. Um, I'll be traveling the next two months, or not two months, the next two weeks. So I want to do have a fresh coat of nail polish before I go. I still have my uh, Valentine's Day nails on, which didn't turn out as well as I'd wanted them to, but they're still pretty cute. Um, but I almost feel like this is like a grayish brown color. It might look gray in some light, in some shades. Uh, so I'll see what I think about it once I put on my nails. Um, I've heard good things about Trust Fund Beauty, so we'll see how long it lasts. The next product is a Briogeo Resarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. So it's a mini, it's just a sample size. And again, I don't know how much you guys will be able to see today. I don't know why. I reduced the exposure on my camera, but I feel like now you guys can't see anything when I bring it up close. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but basically it says it's a weightless finishing formula infused with a nourishing blend of rosehip, argan, and coconut oils to smooth hair, enhance shine, tame frizz, and heat protect against damage up to 425 degrees. Fahrenheit. So you can tell this is an American brand. Algae extract and pentanol strengthen hair and help prevent split ends caused by heat styling. So I don't normally heat style my hair, but I'm definitely going to put this in because I'm sure that it's so great for your hair. I mean, argan oil, things that will hydrate your hair, especially since I do tend to get a lot of split ends as my hair grows out longer, which it has been lately. Um, and I am starting to see some split ends. So I've been trying to take care of my split ends and the ends of my hair a little bit more. Uh, so excited to try this. I don't know what it smells like. Mmm, it smells nice. Uh, it's not a strong scent, but it kind of smells like flowers or roses. So that's product number two. Product number three I'm wearing on my lips today. So this is the NYX Butter Lipstick, and it is in the shade Ripe Berry. So I really like berry colors on my lips. 
Now, my camera is distorting the tone, the undertone of the lipstick. So it looks more pink and more bright than it actually is. It's actually more of a deeper purple color um, in person. Uh, what I like about this lipstick is that it's so hydrating and so smooth when you put it on. And it's way easier to maintain throughout the day than a, la than a matte liquid lipstick would be. Um, as much as I love matte liquid lipsticks, you guys know my obsession with that right now. I do appreciate a buttery lipstick as well on the days that I want a no-nonsense, really easy to upkeep kind of lip color that doesn't go all funny when you eat or you go about your day. I might actually wear this on the plane just because it's so smooth, so hydrating, and so easy to put on. I've never tried NYX lipsticks before, but I'm very happy with this. I'm assuming this is a newer product. I'm not sure if I've seen it in drugstores before. I don't know what the original price is, but I'm assuming this is the original uh, size, so it's like a regular size. It's not a sample size. So two regular size products in this bag, so I'm quite impressed. Um, the fourth product that I have here is the Ven Effect Anti-Aging Lip Treatment. Again, I really apologize for this. Normally, my camera picks up on this better. Um, I've never even really heard of anti-aging lip treatments. I'm not somebody that's really looked into a lot of skincare products or lip products until more recently. Um, I tried this last night and it smells very nice. It smells almost like a rose scent. Again, me and my rose scents. Um, it's not a super strong smell and when you put it on your lips, it's I can put it out a little bit on my hand here, but it's just a white cream when you put it on and then you spread it out and it becomes clear. And I find that it absorbs into your lips really quickly because you don't feel like there's something sitting on your lips a few minutes later like you do when you have lipstick or lip gloss on. So we'll see. I don't know if, I mean, I'm, I don't really have aging signs on my lips yet, um, but I do like the hydrating feel of it, especially before you go to bed. Um, it doesn't taste bad if you accidentally swallow it or eat something and you get it in your mouth. Um, so really fascinated by this. I've never heard of this brand before. It just says this deeply hydrating lip treatment reduces and prevents the appearance of vertical lines while it softens and clumps, revealing a rosy glow. Now I'm very, I'm always skeptical about skin products that say that they're anti-aging just because I went through uh, two science degrees and there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, not to say that there's no product that does nothing for your skin or your lips, but I, I am always very skeptical, probably maybe a little too skeptical at times. But again, like I said, I really like the hydrating feel of this, so I'll be using it. And the last product that I have on here, or in my bag, is a Marsk um, eyeshadow. Again, I've never heard of this brand, and apparently it's available in Sydney and London. And it is a mineral eyeshadow, so it's loose powder, and the, it's in the shade Your Toast, so cute name. And it's like, um, I tried it on yesterday, it's like a peachy, beige, shimmery shade. It's good for a brow highlight, it would be good for maybe a blending color, or if you really want to go natural, you can always just put that on your lid, or you can put some eyeliner on top of that. Um, so really a versatile color for sure. And um, of course, with loose powders, it is harder to use them. But if it's a good product, I'm willing to put up with that. So I have my brush here, and I'll swatch it for you with using a brush, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing that because I'm not putting it on my lips, or sorry, on my on my uh, eyelids. Um, it's quite pigmented, and even though it's a light color, you can still see the shine and the um, the color. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, I'll have to figure out my up close shots here, but look at how shiny it is. Like it is gorgeous. And it actually packs onto your brush quite well. It doesn't get as much all over the place as some other loose shadows or powders do. So I'm very impressed with this. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's a sample size, but still, I mean, how much, I mean, it would take a while to get through that, even that little pot. So those are the five products that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I have to say, this is my third month with Ipsy. I think it's my third month. And this is by far my most favorite month with Ipsy. 
Um, I'm just happy with the product selection that there's such a wide variety of products in my bag. So there's a hair product, there's a skincare or a lip product, there's a lipstick, and there's a nail polish and an eyeshadow. So a little bit of something for different parts of the face, different parts of beauty. Um, I absolutely adore nail polish, and I love eyeshadow and lipstick, and I like learning more about hair products and skin products. So I am just in love with all the products. And um, maybe in my future videos, I'll more review or talk more about some of the products that I've used more and figured out how good they actually are. But I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality and the diversity. So I'll be going in and reviewing my Epsi bag before February 28th so that I can keep getting really awesome products. But Epsi, you have done really well this month. I'm super excited. Um, like I, I get so excited when I get my Epsi bag in the mail. It's pretty funny. Um, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to make sure I had a video up before I went traveling for two weeks, just because it's not likely that I'll be making a video during those two weeks. And I don't want you guys feeling like I've deserted you. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let your friends know about my channel. And you can always leave comments for me below if you have questions or concerns, comments, anything. Just let me know. Get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you guys. See you next time.